Hey, I am Jana Hajšlová, I am professor uh, working at Institute of Chemical Technology in Prague and I'm head of the Department of Food Analysis and Nutrition. So this work, adulteration and uh, working on analytical challenges is my basic field and also some kind of professional passion. <laughs> Authentication is very important and uh, there are in general not only on spices and herbs. This is economic fraud because uh, of course as long as you have some very valuable commodity you are trying to add admix something cheaper and uh, you want to save a lot of money. And secondly, and this is even more serious somehow, you may also experience uh, risk, uh, health risk because sometimes some toxic compounds are added uh, into the food commodities. Melamine crisis is very well known, but in spices and herbs there was a scandal with uh, synthetic dyes, sudans, and it was really serious and for those who use those um, food or food commodities on everyday basis, then the exposure can become really health hazard. So this is uh, in general two reasons to work on that and to be very careful on that. In the past time, there were many uh, scattered methods, single methods, which uh, had to be done on uh, your sample or your food sample. And afterwards, you combined all these separated results to uh, enable interpretation. Nowadays, we have so-called fingerprinting and profiling strategies. And as long as you are working with small molecules, you call it metabolomics, because those molecules are small, let's say up to 1500 Daltons. The key um, principle behind that is that you try to detect as many as possible uh, molecules in your sample in order to have very comprehensive report uh, on your sample. The follow-up step is to select uh, from this uh, non-target uh, fingerprint those um, signals because at this moment you don't know identity of those signals but you are looking for those that are very specific for your sample and when I say for, for your sample you in fact need some reference that means if we authenticate saffron what was the last study I presented you should have at least couple of authentic well described samples in order to have reference and then if you find some ions which um, distinguish your unknown samples from the reference, you are very happy because you have detected marker. And in the next step you go for interpretation of spectral information, then you can even identify marker and later on maybe this marker can be used for easier monitoring and cheaper monitoring of your sample, whether or not some fraud was made on it. In my lab, we are trying to communicate with all the key suppliers of high resolution mass spectrometers, not only to compare it, but uh, as you can imagine, each supplier, each vendor has some specific unique feature in, in his instrument. And uh, to be concrete, uh, we are very much keen on application of Orbitrap, QQ Orbitrap, uh, which is Thermo Fisher scientific product. We are also very in very close collaboration with AB uh, instrument. And now we also establish our plans for metabolomics with Agilent. So we will have now their very new QTO, which is very fresh, <laughs> very recently launched at the market. And this is our next plan to work on metabolomics. In this particular case, our expectation is about great software, which links small molecules with proteomics and transcriptomics. So maybe your interpretation of data could be even more complex than we were able to uh, experience until now.